Hey guys, this is Graham over at TheRecordingRevolution.com. Hope your day is amazing. I want to do a quick video today on how to save some of that power on your computer when you're using really intensive plugins, guitar amplifiers, man. I love to use guitar amp modelers because you get to keep the guitar performance and you can change the sound after the fact. You can use a different amp after the fact. The problem is they take up a lot of your computer's horsepower. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to save some of that computer power, save that awesome sound, and the flexibility to continue to change that sound whenever you want. So let's jump in really quick. Hopefully this will help you out if you're using these plugins. And if not, maybe you'll still learn something. Let's take a look. Okay, so here I am with a simple drum loop and then an audio track with uh, an amp modeling plugin on it. In this case, I've got 11 free, which is just a great plugin that comes with Pro Tools 8, and you can use any amp plugin, obviously. And so what I've got is, you can hear the sound. So it's ready to go. And at this point, I basically just want to record like I'm ready to go. So at that point, when you've got the track recorded, you really only have a direct audio file, right? You just have the guitar going straight into my audio interface. You can take a listen here. Not very intimidating. But then what I'm hearing, obviously, is that signal going through this amp plugin. Now this beast will take up a lot of power, especially if you have a couple guitars and you start adding more tracks. So what's wise is, is to commit to a sound for now, but keep your options open. And this is what I mean. Open up a separate track, just be another mono audio track. You're going to replicate what you've got going on here. Call it something you'll remember, like guitar, bounce. And then at this point, you need to route everything coming out of this track with the plug-in into this track. So you take the output. Instead of going to your main outs 1 and 2, which are your speakers, your headphones, send it on a bus. Send it to a mono bus that's open. And then have that mono bus arrive at your new track. At which point you will record enable that track and simply highlight the section you want to hit and click record. And so what you've got is, if you just solo this track, is you've got that perfect guitar tone through the plugin captured in the audio form with no plugin, obviously. Okay, it's pretty pretty basic here, but this is important because now at this point we can take this track, right click and choose hide and make inactive, which does exactly that. It hides it and it makes it inactive so it's no longer taking up any of your computer power. Bye bye. But now you still have that sound through the amp so you can rock all day long. And that's a beautiful thing. But what's more powerful is the fact that you haven't really lost the plugin because the beauty of an amp plugin is that you can change it later. Okay, obviously you're not committed to the sound that you mic'd on a cabinet. So you want to commit to things in the short run and maybe that will be perfect. But if you ever needed to change the tone completely, you just come back up, make sure you can see that track, see it's ghosted, so you want to make it active. And then what we're gonna do here is is again put this back to the your main out so you can hear what's going on. And instead, just change the uh the, the amp model. And it's that simple. You've got all those sounds back available to you. The performance is still captured. And when you like that sound, then re-record it down to this available track. And you know what you can do is use playlists to your advantage as well. Come down here and choose a new playlist. And now you can basically record that new sound 
to back to your track, but you never lost the original one. Let's take a listen. So now, what does that afford you? That affords you over here. Obviously, you've got two, two takes. You've got that high gain one, and then the original one. And you can keep all those takes on, on playlists, and they'll stay lined up perfectly. So you could pick and choose later and still get rid of that heavy plugin. All right, so it's real simple. I hope this helps you guys as you're using CPU intensive plugins like an amp modeling plugin. But this can go for any type of plugin, instrument plugins. Um, they all can take up power, and sometimes it gets to the point where you just need some more oomph. So get rid of the plugin, commit to it, but you can always come back to it later, okay? Again, this is Graham over at therecordingrevolution.com. Thanks for checking this out. If you're on YouTube, head over to the site. And if you're on my site, why don't you subscribe to the YouTube channel and you can be up to date on all the new videos, okay? Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Take care.